This is what Tokushima is best known for. Lots of greenery and rural farming. Located on the southern island of Shikoku, it's been suffering from both an aging and shrinking population for over half a century. But this town with less than 5,000 people is where a brand new boarding school is being built with the aim of training Japan's next generation of entrepreneurs. The school is for 15 to 20 year olds and it'll be the first of its kind when it opens in April next year. The man behind it is Chikahiro Terada. He's the boss of Tokyo-based startup Sansan, which specializes in digitalization of business cards. He's not from here, but he's teamed up with a local businessman and chose Tokushima. More than 30 companies are now behind this, mostly Japanese, but also international ones like consultancy Deloitte. And in a country where most elite students have long aspired to join large corporates until recently, his ambitious plans have seen some big interest, with more than 500 students from all over Japan attending briefings to find out about the first 40 slots. Crucially, it's committed to a 50-50 ratio of girls and boys, which is a step in the right direction for Japan, where men still dominate the startup scene and the workforce. These potential students are here to attend the school's summer camp. What they're doing here is exactly what the Japanese government is hoping to see, with startups and entrepreneurship popping up across the country. But the fact remains that Japan is still playing catch up against its regional rivals, and this change in mindset is not a quick fix. For the moment, it'll cost over 20,000 US dollars each year to attend, but the founder hopes to raise more funds so future students can study for free. He believes that's the sort of investment required to train a future generation of forward-thinking entrepreneurs if Japan wants to succeed in competing with Silicon Valley. Mariko BBC News, Tokushima.